Chinese democracy activist Wang Dan is taking Han Guoyu's administration to task for claiming he will give speeches at Harvard and Stanford. Kaohsiung Mayor Han flew out last night for a nine-day U.S. visit that will see him hitting both coasts and giving speeches. Wang has cried foul over two of Han's so-called speeches, saying they're not quite what they seem. Previously, it had been announced that Mayor Han would give speeches at Harvard and Stanford while he was in the U.S. A pro-democracy activist has cried foul, saying there was no trace of Han's speech on the Harvard website's list of events. He accused Han of deceiving the public. He said we were not invited, so we present to you two invitations, one from Harvard and one from Stanford. He didn't have the details of the situation, and so he said we were not invited. He accused us of deception, and he made other personal attacks. We have presented the invitations. He should apologize for accusing us of not having been invited. The letters were indeed invitations, welcoming the mayor to a, quote, closed-door briefing. On Facebook, Wang called Kaohsiung officials to task for billing the briefing as a speech. The word choice reflects a parochial outlook, he said. President Ma ying and President Tsai Ing-wen were both invited to give speeches at Harvard University. They even took questions from Chinese students at these open events. So I feel that it's very regrettable that they would tout a closed-door meeting as an academic exchange, as a public speech. If this was done to pave a path to the presidency, to insert a few illustrious achievements into his CV to delude the people, we must respectfully object. In 2011, President Tsai gave a speech in the Harvard Yanqing Library, and the entire event was open door. In contrast, the Han administration is keeping a tight lid on the details of the mayor's closed-door briefing. When asked for a headcount of the audience, the city government said only that it would respect the arrangements of the universities.